each PNI member being the beacon of hope in a sea of fear. Um, so obviously this year has been completely crazy across the entire world for absolutely everybody. And so many people are just absolutely exhausted and just want to give up, throw their hands up, as um, I'll explain, and um, just quietly wait for the new year to come. Um, however, BNI can play a huge role in helping people um, more than ever to restart the world and really get the wheels turning again and get businesses going again. Um, so instead of shutting down, it's time to double our efforts and to inspire people and help others. Don't abandon your network, utilize it. Um, so this takes me back to a discussion that I had with Chris Dobbin just last week. Uh, Chris emphasized that during lockdown, um, he was making an effort to stay positive, try to help his contacts to also stay positive and to focus on their businesses and what they can, how they can spin this situation to work for them rather than against them. And this led to people doing things that they otherwise wouldn't have done. Uh, and the success stories just keep rolling in and his clients are doing very well now. Um, so the key ingredient for any business growth uh, or just keeping people engaged generally is positivity and passion. So nothing great, uh, and I actually really believe this, nothing great is ever accomplished without a bit of passion. Uh, if you don't have that passion, it all falls away and you just lose your steam. So when B and I started, there was no Zoom, there was no internet or any of the things that we can utilize today. Ivan Meisner has said that all he had was one sheet of paper and that was the meeting agenda. And so people, when he asked them to come along to meetings, they would say, oh, have you got any more material about BNI? Um, and he'd say, no, and all of the members just had to say, you simply have to come and experience the meeting for yourself. It's something that you have to see in person. Um, it was a passion of the members in promoting the network that intrigued people enough to come and see what the meeting was all about. And then it was the passion of the members in the group, which encouraged those visitors to then stay and become members themselves. With so much technology at our fingertips now, this reach can go so much further as well than just word of mouth. Um, so you'll be amazed at how much uh, this can lead to more visitors to the chapter and in turn, uh, more members, which fuels business growth for all, including those visitors. So a few ways that we can do this is by um, sharing the reasons why we're passionate about BNI. So take a moment to really think about the reasons why you're passionate about BNI, why you were at the start, what took your interest at the start and kept you in as a member. Um, and really promote this, um, use this to promote the network and to promote each individual member in your chapter. The success stories of the chapter are a key feature of this and we see them every week. We come, we, uh, they come in through the thank you of closed business and also the testimonials that we have every week. These are the success stories and they're, they're brilliant. Um, so making your visitors feel incredibly welcome is another way. Um, so also welcome to all of the visitors today. This doesn't just mean the visitors that um, each individual member has invited are making sure their visitor is welcome, but also all of the other visitors as a whole, because really you never know who you're going to meet, what connections you're going to have with that person and how you can actually help each other. Um, focusing more on helping people outside of BNI as well. So just in your general community, this is never a bad thing. So you'll never regret this and you'll never look back and think, oh, that was just a waste of my time because it really does um, we all come back around. So forget about all of the noise around you and all of the chatter and the negativity. Uh, there's always going to be distractions and there always will be distractions in the future. Some bigger than others like this year, but um, you know, they're, they're never going to go away. So your community may need you now more than ever. And it also may be the case that you need your community more than you realize. Um, once you step out there and see what's actually around, um, you'll realize that that can benefit you and you can benefit others. BNI is not just a business network. And the reason why this network works so well is because um, the members really get to know each other and they help each other both inside and outside of business. So it's those actual personal connections that really fuel the genuine growth in the businesses and those genuine referrals as well. Uh, BNI members have survived the most challenging economic times since the Great Depression, um, and it's because of those personal connections. Um, the final thing is inviting people to actually help themselves. Um, a big part of um, changing the circumstances is people helping themselves to change their own circumstances. So those people that don't succeed are the ones that complain and then they just let things lie. Those who complain and figure out a way to fix the reason why they're complaining, they're the ones that succeed. Um, so give us gain is more than just a phrase. It's a way of living your life and it's a perspective and it's um, an attitude and not an expectation of BNI. So think about really what inspires you about the BNI network and in general and start from there and spread the positivity. Thanks so much, Amanda. And I love the positivity and the passion, and especially when we've got so many wonderful visitors here today. So you'll see that our members are really passionate about what they do. So 